Hey everyone, Irix Guy here. I uh, just wanted to take a moment to share with everyone how to create a panoramic photograph. Uh, now at a high level, if you're not very familiar with photography, what a panoramic is, essentially it's a series of photos that are merged together to create, uh, in essence, a widescreen type effect. So if you're dealing with a, uh, you know, with a, a city skyline or maybe a tropical beach or something, uh, panoramics can look really good. Uh, now the tools that I'll use to accomplish this, uh, I use my camera. It's just a Nikon D3000 camera. And then I'm also going to use Adobe Bridge. Uh, so the first step I took, I went to, uh, went to the top of 30 Rockefeller Center in downtown Manhattan. And up there I made two pictures. I made, uh, well, a series of pictures, but I made the, uh, the Empire State Building side and the Central Park side. So what we're going to do here... Uh, when we're in Adobe Bridge, we're going to go to Folders, and then I've dumped all these folders and all these pictures in a folder called New York City Pan. So we'll go in there. I've already done the Empire State Building side, and we'll do it again, but let's do the uh, Central Park side. So I'm going to go to that folder. What you're seeing here are a series of photos, and it was a foggy day. That's why it kind of looks funny, but a series of photos that I snapped with the Nikon D5000, D3000 camera, rather. Now you don't have to be super precise when you're shooting these. It would be great if you had a tripod. I didn't use a tripod. I just carried the camera around my neck. Uh, the main thing is when you're shooting them, you do want you've got to have overlap. So if you have more than enough overlap, that's fine. It'd be better to take uh, 20 photos versus five and not have any holes in it. Because if you got holes, of course there's not going to be anything in the photo. So the next step in Adobe Bridge is to do an edit, select all. And once I've selected all the photos, uh, these are the photos on the uh, Central Park side of, uh, of 30 Rockefeller Center. So I'm going to do Tools, Photoshop, Photo Merge. Now it's going to take a moment while Photoshop processes this. You can do different uh, options, but for what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do Auto Layout. And again, you'll see all of my files. Uh, these are the files that were snapped on the... Uh, Central Park side of, of the Rockefeller Center. So we're going to hit OK. And it's going to uh, flash some windows by. Uh, what it's doing now, it's getting all of these photos up and it's going to, uh, like it says, photo merge. It's going to merge all of these individual photos and what we're going to see as a result is a very widescreen looking photo, you know, a panoramic photo. So this is really neat. Let's give it a minute here and we'll, we'll wait for it to process. And of course this processing time may vary depending upon the speed of your computer. I'm running running this particular photo merge on a, uh, on a MacBook Air uh, 2012 edition. But it's not really that fast. It's only a 1.8 gigahertz. So if you had a uh, maybe a desktop Mac, like an iMac or a Mac Pro, it would probably be a lot faster but it's still fast. It's going to go through all of these and then it's going to uh, not only is it combining them but it's also going to smooth it out because when you've got multiple photos and granted I shot them back to back but when you got multiple photos it's uh, it's got a the program's got to analyze where these points would piece together so it's looking at the individual photos and figuring out how to do it. Um, okay, so here's the panoramic right here. Now this this one was less than ideal. Uh, you can see, let's zoom in. But you can see, like, I could cut this out and make a square photo. Now this I must have pasted a photo in that didn't belong because it pasted that up there in the top left. I think you can see here it's a foggy day. Uh, there's Central Park, and then here's various other buildings here. And it just makes a uh, makes a panoramic photo. And you can cut this out. Look at the one. I, let's do one of the other side, the uh, Empire State Building side, because it's a lot better. 
I was disappointed with the way that turned out, and unfortunately, I guess, I guess I'll have to go back up there and retake it. But let's do Empire side. Uh, these are the photos I snapped on the Empire State Building side. So we're going to do again. We'll do Edit, Select All. And then we'll do Tools, Photoshop, Photo Merge. And I'm going to use Auto again. And see that right there that you're seeing, that's just one photo. That was the rightmost position on the uh, Rockefeller Center observation deck. But I think this one's going to turn out really good. And the other thing is, when you're doing a panoramic, if you're in a crowded place like this in, in New York, if you've got people walking in front of you, it's going to create problems. But unfortunately with this, uh, the way the 30 Rockefeller Center is set up, nobody could walk in front of you. But you are going to have people, like you can see here, people to your right and to your left. So if they move, that can uh, definitely affect the the out, uh, the output of, uh, of the panoramic. Now it's blending all of the layers. And I think, like I said, I think this one's going to turn out really good. And the reason being, I took uh, I, I took a lot more time when I did the. See how good that looks? That's perfect. Now you can see here it's not perfectly square. And that's because I didn't use the tripod. But you can see, you can see people over here to the left and people to the right. You can see how this is stretched out. So what you can do once you get your uh, once you get your image, you can then use this tool and just crop out, you know, get as much of it as you can so that it's still square. Do edit copy. Then I'll do new. I'll paste this in here. And there you go. There's a perfect panoramic image. And just to show you the level of detail, let's zoom in. That's only 12% zoomed right there. That's 16.67% zoom. Let's zoom in really far. Let's go to 100%, just so you can see the... That's 100% right there. So just the level of detail, this is a Nikon D3000, which from a photographer's perspective is nothing great. But for an amateur like myself to be able to create this, these are multiple images that were pieced together using the, uh, using the Adobe Bridge photo merge process. And you can't even see lines where they were pieced together. That's incredible. And you can see right there, that's the new one, uh, that's the new Trade Center in the background that they're building and that's a little crane on top of it because they're still constructing it but just a really cool technique you can make some really cool uh, I mean super cool panoramic photos and these are good if you if you go to a uh, to a photo printing service and get it printed out on a photo canvas they're really wide and uh, I mean just a really cool do-it-yourself panoramic photo Feel free to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash irixguy. And uh, be sure to check out all my other videos too. Y'all have a good day.